Florida. Josh Moody came on the show yesterday and made an announcement. He said that the hit, the starting quarterback will be, and guess what? They made the announcement. He said it on the show yesterday. DJ Lagway, highly touted freshman uh, coming in from Texas. Uh, Samford announced that he's going to – I mean, uh, Napier announced he's going to start versus Samford this year, this week. Great game to start him against. Uh, get him uh, – basically should be a practice type of situation. Graham Mertz has suffered a concussion, Steve. Do you think this is a get-out-of-jail-free card to sit him? Or is it? Are they going to use the concussion and bring Mertz back eventually? Well, first of all, they ought to thank Miami for expediting the process of the DJ Lagway era. Guys, you're welcome. Bullshit. Now, but hey, you guys are SCC, right? <laughs> anyway, look, I don't know if this is enough to to save Napier's job. Remember, the week after they play a still a really talented, tough A and M team. They've got to win that game. AM's going through some issues offensively. Although I will say this, I don't think Florida has the defensive backfield or the overall talent defensively as Notre Dame. Notre Dame is really good. They could be 11 and 1, 12 and 0 looking at that schedule. But I don't know if Nate Pierre, based on his first two years and the particular feelings that fan base has about him, if he can use, well, I'm breaking in a new freshman card at quarterback i don't know if he has that in his back pocket the the other issue is if napier leaves though i believe lagway probably becomes the most highly coveted young player on the transfer portal market and there's already been speculations over which programs would fit him best so that's kind of a catch-22 there in gainesville now, let me give you my perspective, Smitty, real quick as a coach. If I'm looking at through this at, through this glass half full, half empty look, and I know my job's over. If I'm Billy Napier, he has to know, and his agents are already on the phone. I promise you that's how it works. His agents are already writing a either A, a resignation letter, or B, accepting a firing letter already, meaning they're prepping his future, whether he's NFL or a coordinator job somewhere or what have you. But – to play it safe, this is a great job and move by him because he has nothing to lose. If Lagway goes out here and Except his job. Out, <laughs> he, <laughs> he, he, he saves his job. He saves this dude's job if he goes out and wins win six, seven, eight games in this schedule. Billy Napier could be in the coach oh, of the year. Coach, coach. Like, they win it. seven or eight games with that gauntlet. He's coach of the year, right? He's coach, no, millennium. <laughs> millennium, not year. I mean, that, that's the toughest road trip uh, since, I mean, I remember when the Filipinos, when they were jailed by, they, oh, oh the, um, I, there was a great joke by Curry Kirkpatrick when UCLA in 1985, they played like every team in the top 10 in Walt Hazard's first year. And he talked about what a tough road it was. And um, he compared it to the, uh, to the trek of the Filipino prisoners of war by the Japanese. I forgot what it's called. It's one of the funniest lines ever. I look at that schedule. All right, Sanford is a game that they're going to win. They have one other game where I think they're going to be the favorite. Everything else, uh-oh. But that's what Billy can sell. Hey, guys, I'm breaking in a new quarterback. Youth movement. This is the future. And if I get fired, you may not keep that kid. See, that's what he can sell. The Baton Death March. That's what it was called. You know, Curry mm. Kirkpatrick said, UCLA is on the toughest road trip since the Baton Death March. And that's what, if you look at Florida's schedule, it is an absolute gauntlet, especially the last six weeks. It's unbelievable. It's just one cleanup hitter after another they're facing. 